All right, we've heard so many cautionary tales about payday loans. Now, people are warning about a new type of loan that'll put you in a deeper cycle of debt than you can imagine. We are talking triple digit interest rates now. Yasmin Farahi, Senior Policy Counsel for the Center for Responsible Lending, is here to explain rent of bank loans. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, please explain what are rent a bank loans and how do they work? These are loans where high cost lenders use bank partnerships to make loans at higher rates, higher interest rates than they would be allowed to under many state laws. So many state laws have caps that are capped the rate on these loans at around 36 percent. Um, the majority do on these what we call larger longer installment loans um, but these lenders use a partnership with a bank um, that are not subject to the same laws that are there to protect consumers to be able to make loans at a higher rate than they would be under a state law. So how long has it been around and what are some of the benefits if any? So Rota Bank isn't new. It's been around in various forms um, for the last few decades, but we're seeing an increase in the high cost installment lending market in all loans and that they often use Rota Bank arrangements. Um, so most states have cap rates on these loans and um, we're seeing the, the rent to bank lenders are, are, it's happening more often that these arrangements are, are meaning that consumers are getting into loans that they otherwise wouldn't be able to get under state law. Um, you asked, I think, about the benefits. Honestly, we think the, the negatives vastly outweigh the benefits. Um, and we have new research on this um, that has found that people experience serious harms from these loans. They're not able to do things like pay their other bills, um, things like their like the lights go off in our, our survey um, and focus groups we found. And it really just pushes borrowers deeper into debt, leaving them worse off than they were before they got the loan. So in addition to the very high interest rate, and I'd like to ask you how high do the interest rates go, but how do they compare or contrast with payday loans that a lot of folks are familiar with in many states? Yeah, a lot of the loans can be triple digit interest rates. Um, so you'll hear about people having loans of 100 and something percent through these rent to bank partnerships. Um, they, you know, both payday loans and these kinds of loans are harmful. Um, payday loans have short terms that create a long-term cycle of debt. Um, and there's a lot of research showing the negative financial consequences that people experience from being in the payday loan debt trap. Um, our new research shows that many people in these kinds of higher cost installment loans um, have similar negative financial consequences. 85% um, of those surveyed had negative impacts like I said, couldn't keep their lights on, um, a significant percentage had their wages garnished or their cars repossessed. Um, so neither is a safe source of credit for struggling consumers. And so how do people know if they're being offered a rent -a bank loan and, and what can they do if they need more help or advice on this? Yeah, you know, a lot of people may not know because who they deal with in this is really the lender. That's who they apply to and who they get their, um, who they pay, make their payments to. The only way they'll know is based on who's issuing the money to them, which may be the bank. Um, so they may be being charged an interest rate that is over their state usury limits, um, and it is really hard to know. But if people have questions, they can contact organizations like ours at the Center for Responsible Lending. Um, and we're, you know, happy to, to help identify what's happening with the loan and hear their stories. Well, now we know a little bit more about yeah. <laughs> rent of bank loans as opposed to the payday loans. Thank you so very much, Yasmin Farahi, Senior Policy Counsel with the Center for Responsible Lending. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me.